Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again to Saga Frontier 2. Last time we completed the exploration of the outer ruins of Haunt. Today we're going to go into the tomb area. So, I did a, well, quite frankly, an excessive amount of grinding in between the last episode and this one. Particularly because I was sick. You might notice I sound a little sniffly. That's because I have a cold. And I'm on the downward slide to recovery, but uh, I did at one point lose my voice, so I I'm glad to be able to speak again. So I spent a little time grinding. So let's take a look at this. Anyway, this is Will. You look at my stats Cordelia, Narcisse. And Tyler uh, picked up a few items that I wasn't planning on getting, particularly the do axe and a fossil dagger. So that's pretty nice. Uh, at this point, I've pretty much got everyone equipped the way they are to kind of maximize my ability to use spells, uh, particularly Narcisse, and to a lesser extent, Will. Now, let's look at uh, my arts. Now, spell-wise, this is what I learned in Tree. <coughs> I have Bushfire, Needle Shot, and Life Water. Stone, I learned Water Hammer and Stone Armor, plus Delta Petra. For Flame, I have Recovery Breath. Recovery Breath is the status recovery spell of the game. Uh, pretty useful to have on. The big spell that I really, really wanted was Regenerate. Regenerate is super useful in this game. It's kind of, well, it works almost exactly like the Vitality Ruin spell in the previous game. And, uh, very useful to have. There is a better version of Regenerate, much better version of Regenerate, but Pretty much, you've only got one character in the entire game that has any sane chance of learning the spell, and we frankly don't have that character yet. Now, let's see. Got Call Thunder. Call Thunder is a pretty powerful water spell. Now, I also sparked quite a few techs. I currently have. Well, I have Roll Beat equipped because it costs 2 WP, and that's Will's WP regeneration. I have Painful Beat equipped because Painful Beat has a fairly good chance to spark into Time and Tide, which is the most powerful uh, non-hybrid staff technique. And then, of course, I have Gale Strike. Gale Strike is what is known as a hybrid arc. Hybrid arts are kind of... Unless you know they're there, they're pretty obscure and hard to figure out. I have absolutely no clue how you would even attempt to figure out that the hybrid arts are a thing. You know, I mean, they give you one hybrid art at a certain point later in the game to kind of, I guess, hint that these things exist. But, I mean... The first time I went to the game, I never found a hybrid art on my own. So, but they're pretty powerful. Uh, the great thing about hybrid arts versus regular weapon arts is that when you use them in party battles, they use SP. So you got a character like Will, who has better SP regeneration than WP regeneration. That uh, really, really helps him out because. It gives him a, kind of a, a powerful alternative to fall back onto for his main weapon if he runs out of WP or if he runs out of SP, he can switch to roll beats, you know, that kind of thing. You, you need to have options, I believe. That's my belief. Uh, learned, I got super lucky learning uh, 
my spear techniques. I got such powerful technique as Shining Arm and Heavenly Strike. Now, I have Shining Arm in equipped instead of Heavenly Strike because, like, the attack power difference is not that big. It's like 65 versus 63. Uh, so, yeah. yeah. Shadow Slayer, Arrow Rain. Arrow Rain's a nice skill to have because it attacks all targets. Uh, if you don't have Arrow Rain, then Random Shot is a good substitute for that. Also have a few martial arts abilities. Martial arts abilities are useful uh, if you're low on WP. Well, pretty much... I'm not sure if spell arts work this way with SP, but weapon arts and WP, the lower your WP is, the more damage your weapon arts do. And uh, that's pretty nice. Uh, it, it Like, the calculation for this is actually greatest for the martial arts moves. So, martial arts moves are really good to use if you have low WP. Uh, for Narcisse, he's obviously a spellcaster. I put, I have Bird Hunter on him, which is the only other hybrid art I learned. Uh, I went out of my way specifically to learn Bird Hunter, and it, by the way, took me way longer to learn Bird Hunter than it did Gale Strike, which is funny because... Bird Hunter is like supposed to be super easy to spark, but anyway, the idea behind this is that you know, Bird Hunter costs two SP. It'll give him a cheap move that uses SP to use instead of something like Call Thunder, which costs seven, or Butch Fire, which costs six. Uh, Tyler's pretty simple. Let's see, he's got axe moves. I have uh, Sky, Di Sky Drive on, which is the most powerful move I learned, and Heal Crush, which is on there because it's less than his. Uh... I'm gonna switch it out for Hyper Hammer because he's got a three WP regeneration, but he's got Life Water and Regenerate to heal. So yeah, it's pretty good. So let's go on. Now. The enemies down here are fairly easy if you know how to duel. Uh, these guys are not too bad. The main thing you gotta watch out for them is that they will poison you. And, uh, yeah. Thankfully, they don't do too much damage otherwise. If you are not comfortable with the dual system, then another alternative would to be just fight them in party battles. Although it's easier to uh, spark new techs in dual. Uh, the great thing about these zombies, uh, there's two kinds of zombies here, by the way. There's the male sprites or the zombie we just fought, and there's a female zombie as well. We'll fight her just so you can see the female zombie. I do believe the male zombies uh, are a little more powerful than the female zombies. Swing, 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 swing. Now, hybrid arts aren't really the best thing to use in a duel because they actually use both WP and SP in a duel. But, uh, you know, I. I'm going for uh, Gale Striker because it's quite literally the most powerful move I have. So, you know, even with the relatively crappy staff he has equipped, I can do massive amounts of damage. Like I said, one of the great things about fighting these zombies is they drop money. Even if it's not a whole lot of money, 
it's enough. I mean, you can keep yourself in weapons for sure. Especially if you go cheap. Which is, uh... We'll fight these guys in a party battle. But uh, going cheap is not too hard in the, the store out there because you got things like sapling staffs, uh, the wood sword, the wood daggers are pretty cheap. Oh, son of a bitch. Those guys ugh, are annoying as hell. Let's see. Those ghosts are immune to most food. I don't know if they're immune to physical attacks, but they take way reduced damage against most of the physical attacks I have at this point. They are, they seem to be immune to stone and tree. They take a lot, well, specific, excuse me, they seem to be immune to stone. They seem to take a lot of damage from fire, though, so. Let's. No, that isn't going to work on them. Let's just do Shining Arm on this Gula. And... Sky Drive. I... That's actually the first time I've seen one of those ghosts appear with one of the... Well, that was awful nice. With one of those zombies. Ah! That right there is why those ghosts are so annoying to fight. They have a move called Soul Crunch, which instantly kills one of your characters if it lands. It doesn't always land, but uh, it lands enough. Let's see you bring her back to life. Um, he doesn't really have anything that will push fire. You bring her back to life. Thankfully, other than, you know, Soul Crunch, the ghosts are fairly... Undamaging. Uh, they have another move called Scream, Shout, something like that, that will hit all of your party members for like 80 points of damage. But, uh, yeah. That's why I have that Deadstone on Will, because that actually protects against Soul Crunch. I ended up fighting a lot of these guys when I was grinding, and I'll show you where I was. Push fire. You know what? Just uh, heal Cordelia again. I want to get her HP back up. Thank you. Uh, forgive me, my uh, all sniffly. Fire again, flame spear, and you know, let's try call thunder. Let's go ahead and defend, man. Or he could die. That's cool too. Tree up. That's fine. Spear up. That's always good. Hey, hey, mindscape. Cool. That's one of the other, if, I, if that's what I think it is. 